taste of this, Susan was working on a Unitarian Universalist service about various alternate universes and realities, and this ballad, Thomas the Rhymer, fits right in. Yes, I'm, sh I'm sure that the people here are familiar with the idea that there are lots and lots of legends about alternative realities, and one of the most frequent ones is the one where the great, beautiful fairy queen comes and abducts somebody from this universe and uh, doesn't give him or her back unless they meet certain conditions. And this is the story of Thomas the Rhymer. And as Phil said, the three ballad versions that he gave me, none of them made sense on their own. So I sort of anglicized them and uh, made them into a, a coherent story which ends when the queen takes him off to fairyland and under certain conditions. And he gets a gift. When he comes back, it goes on in a much, much longer version out on the internet. And he comes back with the uh, gift from the fairy realm, and there's always a sting in the tail. He has to, he can foretell the future, but he has to tell the future. There was a great book written based on that ballad, which you often wrote it, but it's well worth looking up. True Thomas lay on the grassy bank, he beheld a lady born. Riding o'er the first grave. Her skirt was of grass green silk, and the love of the velvet fine. Hanging from the horse's mane were fifty silver bells of nine.
promise you must hold your tongue No matter what you hear or see For if one word you chance to speak You'll better return to your own country Thank you.